Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here in downtown Kyoto. And today we're actually riding our bikes from Kyoto down to Osaka. We've got our bike packing set up here right now with uh, my cross bike with my giant saddlebag and towing in her road bike with the giant frame bag. We're taking a break here before we head down and we're checking out the local bike shop, Kone Cycle. Uh, so last night we were walking around town, we're staying in the Nishiki Market area and we randomly came across the Wise Road shop which is one of the biggest bike chains here in Japan. We decided to do a few more bike shop tours and one of the employees there recommended that we come check out this shop. They specialize in um, different single speeds and city bikes so we thought we'd check it out before we head down to Osaka today. So let's do a quick tour. So we're right off the main street here and they've got a nice rack here so you can park your bikes. We've got our bikes here, cone cycle and right away you'll notice that they have rental bikes available. So I mentioned in my last video, we've been doing some cycling videos around Kyoto. Getting around Kyoto, the best way to get around Kyoto is by bicycle. They've got a bunch of different lineups here so you can get a more city style bike, regular bike with a basket, you can get a nice cross bike to get around the city quickly. Um, they even got electric bikes and also bikes with baskets and racks um, and seats for your kids. Nice little brochure here for the rentals. And behind the rental we've got this pretty interesting kind of like elliptical style bike or something. So it looks like you pedal kind of like an elliptical and it'll generate some power to move forward. It looks like there's some electric power attached to this as well. Uh, pretty interesting. And um, what is this called? This is called the walking bicycle. So like the walking bike or something like that. <laughs> some pretty interesting big sweeper wheel handlebar on this as well. Really nifty. I've never seen something like this in person before. Nice classic red color as well. What is this? W, W6C? It's pretty nifty. Then over here, right on display on the right, we've got our Tokyo bike lineup. These are all of our nice, beautiful city bikes here. I'm guessing made in Japan, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 26 inch wheels, 68 thousand yen. Pretty nice kind of like vintage look crest up front. Bunch of cool different color options as well. And we've also got a bunch more of the Tokyo bikes here as well. Some smaller wheel options and then the more larger wheel options as well. Most of these seem to have either some sort of like flat riser or more bigger riser kind of swoopy kind of bars. But they do have some flat bar Tokyo bikes as well, so a couple different options here. You'll notice here we have some electric bikes. These are Bez electric bikes. And these just look really fancy, kind of like futuristic style electric mini bike here. Um, but they are pretty pricey. These are about uh, 1800 bucks. This one's a test ride, so you can do this. This says uh, Shijousha, which means test bike. Moving along to the left side here, we've got some Brunos. Are these Brunos? Yeah, Brunos. Some pretty interesting kind of mini wheel bikes here. A couple different color options. How much are these? These are about 5400 or 54 about 54,000 for these ones. 500. Some cool different color options. Oh man, the size in this frame. This one's pretty massive. Swiss Nippon. Pretty interesting. And, oh nice, they've got an old school BMC Phonak bike here. Shiny Fuji, Kone Selection. We produced your healthy cycle and the best bike. Nice model. Ooh, nice aero spoke here as well. All right, let's go check in the inside of the shop. Starting over here on the left side. Got a nice cool camo marine bike here. Not too bad. Pretty interesting Cannondale here. The Hooligan One. Some more Cannondale city bikes. So the shop we visited yesterday, the Wise Road specializes mostly in road bikes. They have a lot of road bike options. This place specializes more in city bikes. 
We've got a lot of these Bruno bikes here. Bunch of different wheel options, pretty much any color you'd want for your rim. Some nice anodized pink. We got some leader bikes. These are really good track bikes. Nice sick track vision crank here. About 1800. Sick bike, sick frame. Of course, wouldn't be complete without some Bianchis. Nice black and pink Bianchi here. Some more leaders. Here's a bit more pricier model, but nice analyzed, nice anodized black with some nice head wheels up front. Some more Martin, some Fujis. Also got some mountain bikes here. Nice green Cannondale. Ooh, haven't seen this model for the Chanelli before. Nice big sweeper bars. Fuji cross bike. Tire corner, tube corner, parts corner, everything that you need. Different saddle options, more tires and wheels. We've got our Rinko bags. This is what you need if you want to bring your bike anywhere in Japan on a train and so on. Bunch of different anodized colors for the handles, seat posts, for the handlebars. <laughs> Some pretty interesting saddles. Some nice handlebar tape, leather handlebar tape. Some nice brick saddles. Really good stuff. Some more brick saddles. Wow. Brooks bar tape. And some more regular grips here. Nice Schwinn wagon here with some different cycling caps. We got our maybe fashion corner here, some helmets, some different bags, some hats. Mickey Mouse loves BMX. Bunch of the different chrome bags here, really popular here in Japan. Oh, a nice sick custom frame over there, the 125 Con Cycle leader frame. That's really cool. And more wheels up here. Oh, this is kind of like a Bianchi color leader frame, Celeste color leader. Bunch more leader bikes here. Pretty more affordable right now. These are 10% off, only about 1300. Not too bad for a pretty decent track bike. Some more Chanelis. Ooh. Oh wow, <laughs> what is this? This is kind of like a push skateboard with a wheel up front. <laughs> you can buy it for uh, 37,000 yen, about 300 bucks. Pretty interesting. We've got a couple more cool frames here hanging up on top. Nice sparkly orange one. Some knife frames here. This is a new brand for me. <laughs> but they've got a pretty interesting design on the front of the frame here. An actual knife going into the cog. Knife bike. Oh, there's a knife going back on the tube in the rear end as well. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Some more Chanelis. Some more knives. And we've got some more nice Chanelis back here as well. So apparently this is an Italian maker for the knives. Ne. 
ボスみたいボスみたいいや一番一番上一番前にいる人の意味一番早いリーダー勝ったらリーダーになれる白のいいな白のバージョンうん、so Tung actually also made her own video, so she's helping making videos for her Vietnamese audience,、uh, mostly talking about the rental bikes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go check out Tung's video as well, we'll link it in the description. And、uh, anyway, unfortunately, I think that's all we have time for for today. We got to continue on our ride over to Osaka. We had a great time checking out the Kohn's Bicycle Shop. The staff here is also really nice. They've been talking to us. I think we're going to get on their blog and Instagram as well. So, yeah, come check it out, especially if you're interested in renting a bike. They have a bunch of great rental options here. And the best way to get around Kyoto is by bicycle by far. So, definitely come check it out. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video. We're going to continue on our ride down to Osaka. So, be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can follow along on our adventures cycling around Japan. We'll see you in the next video. Jane! Bye bye! Yane!、Yeah, <laughs>